Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Friday, May 26, 2023. And today, I install the mixture control unit. This is just a quick little short video, and like I said, I'm documenting everything, including this. This has only got four spring washers and four nuts. That's about it. So it's not like it's complicated or anything, but like I said before, I'm documenting every part of this engine build, and that includes even things that go good. <laughs> like this, this thing went quite, quite easy. As a matter of fact, you know, this video is under, under 10 minutes. So it's a quick little video. I wanted to get something out before the Memorial Day weekend. I want to thank you guys for subscribing. And don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, or even if you are a subscriber, you got to click the bell, you know, to be notified for when we try to start this car live. That's right. I'm going to try at some point, and we're getting closer every single step of the way. I want to get this video going because I think on the next video, I'm going to go ahead and just install this little device right here. We already put this thing all together and polished it all up. It's all ready to go. Like I said, it's just some quick little videos, I think, right now as I start to, uh, you know, dress it up. You know, it's kind of a lot of little things, right? Injectors, uh, exhaust manifolds, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, all right, you guys. Well, thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. This here is the mixture control unit, and we've already been through this in a previous video. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap this thing and get it ready for install. These are all the little screws and things for it. So let's get started. Before I place this on top of the intake manifold, there's things that go under this, like this, for example. Let me show you the difference between this genuine Mercedes and an aftermarket. They look similar, but there's quite a bit of difference. Can you tell the hole size? Right, this is much larger than this one. This has a little tab right there. This one does not have a little tab. And that tab actually is an important part because it's that tab that also helps keep this on. The construction is different. This is more rigid or, you know, I mean, it's soft, but it just feels better, stronger. Uh, Mercedes <laughs> will go as far as put these little arrows on here so you can line these arrows up. So when you go to place it. All right, so now that you know there's a couple things, just this and a vacuum line. So let's go over to the engine now. So this is the top of the engine. Neither one of these, uh, I thought that this one here needed to be installed. That's the A. And this is the double A. You don't have to inst actually install this one either. If you're interested in, you know, the A and double A and all these things that I have on the vacuum lines and everything, I have like four videos and how I marked each one so we can put it all back together and that's what we're doing. But this A goes actually right here on that little red cap that I have on there and then it will go over and go underneath the clip of the injector. So that's where that will go. But since it's not obstructed by our mixture control unit, then it's okay. What we do have to do, however, is lay this in there. This here sits about like that. You can fish it in here later, I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on it. But you see how this one is? It's just on the back side of that injector there is about where that one goes. And then this one sits just behind that injector. I'm not gonna put your side, these side tubes on because I wanna get all the room I want over here to get my injectors in later. And then also right now I just have this glove on here so I can now take that one off finally. I'm gonna put a little bit of Vaseline on this leading edge right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this, which I just did. In another video is where I made this. They sell you the strapping and then I bought a new one of these so I can keep it original rather than just using a hose clamp. And I've already put some, just a little bit of petroleum jelly around that. If you're interested in that part number, that's the part number for this hose right here. Well, we'll see how this works. Just 
Just line it up on your pins here. This is going to be the tough part is getting this to go on. All right, so that's looking at the top, right? Um, I went to just put my hand on it and it ended up popping right down. So it was actually quite easy. Now with that bracket, right? That's that new bracket. So what I need to do is you can tighten that and then you flip that little arm over. That little arm will just kind of go over there and lock in. So let me give it a little tighten here and then we'll see. You notice the placement of this, right? It's right there. And that's so you can get a wrench or a screwdriver to it. So this is eight millimeter if you're curious. And that's all there is to it. Now the only thing I can't show you is how I, and now I'm holding a little bit of pressure on there. And now I'm gonna flip this lever over to lock it in. So there you go. You see how that thing's folded or inward? So when you have tension on that strap, it wants to back itself out. And that's why you have tension on there and then you flip that little thing over. And that is exactly how you would lock that in place. Each one of these four posts have a little spring washer, just, just a little Thin spring washer. This one over here has this post. Mine did. The spring washer and post. Spring washer, nut, spring washer and nut, spring washer and nut. That's a 10 millimeter. I have a deep dish socket that I'm just gonna do by hand to begin with. These don't have to be that tight, just snug them up. That's what I'm gonna do. Just like that. Well, according to the manual, we can go ahead and torque those down between nine and 10. There that, I'm at 9.5. in case you guys want to, this is the part number for this, which goes right there. All right, guys, well, that's, uh, I think that's it for this video. I just want to make some short videos right now as I assemble these little bits and pieces together. You know, we still have injectors to do, and, you know, we've got our, our water inlet out here in the front. So, and sensors and all that stuff yet to go, and the exhaust manifold. So don't worry, there's still a lot to come. But that's the way that I installed the mixture control unit. Um, I covered all this up because the, the fuel distributor here that I didn't want to put that on yet. Keep everything out of my way, just one thing at a time. That'll be a video, maybe you will connect that and we'll connect it to all that. All right, guys. Well, until the next time, thanks for watching.